US crude and natural gas both traded in a very very narrow range today uh, in fact 75.576 zone as we discussed in the Asia session update that do not trade in between these levels precisely it is stayed between the zone only and for natural gas also 2.6 2.65 levels proven out to be a good no trade zone so now what to expect which position you should take in order to profit trading US crude and natural gas today with the PPI data we will see with the help of charts and indicators before leaving the video just press the like button and do not forget to share subscribe and comment also press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis this is the second update for the day next update will be released with the asia session tomorrow watch that also let's start first to look into oil followed with net gas also you can remain updated by joining our free telegram channel the link is mentioned in the channel and video description let's have a look at the early charts for now see crude on the early charts what it has done moving average it has converged still towards the moving average 76 definitely a good resistance and only above 76 now we can expect it to rise now see the moving averages have come till towards these levels and it has become a greater support also and hence achieving those levels now we can possibly expect a bounce back or a breakout and hence if you see it trading above 19, uh, 76 levels, you can stay long and expect 76.4 and 77 levels. I will tell you why 77 levels are a greater resistance for crude oil for now. Yes, trading with too much divergence, moving averages, but are still bullish. A stock ISD has dropped till bottom. The MACD is still divergent and bearish. RSI has also dropped. See what beauty it has done just with the... Uh, sideways momentum from 76 to 75.5 all the indicators have cooled down now see likewise the moving average is trading with divergence and bullishness now look at the two hour charts consolidation going on here and that this makes 75.5 and 76 zone as a no trade zone below 75.5 75.2 and 75 are two greater greater supports below that only further bearishness is going to prevail here also, if you look at the stock ISTIC has dropped, the MACD has crossed over for a bearish move. It is trading with divergence. RSI is very near to the top. And on the 3-hour chart, similarly, you can observe previous candle was a swing candle. Flat top, lower lows and hence be careful of 75.5 for further bearishness. Then 75.2 and 75. This is a 20-period moving average which is going to give it a very good sign. Stock ISTIC has dropped here. MACD crossing over for a sell. Very good sign here for the bears but still remember it has lot much of upside still left and hence it can continue with the up move rsi overbought and on the four hour charts on the four hour charts an important observation is the flat top here which means it has created the roof for it which means it can create another wall here and hence uh below 75.5 you can stay short for 75 and 74.5 levels and this is also Till 74, remember till 74, which was the earlier resistance in which it is trading. I will come to that on the daily charts. We have very strong support for oil and it should continue with the bullish momentum till the time it stays above 74. Stock ISTIC looking down here, MACD willing to converge crossover for a sell entry. RSI overbought here and coming to the daily chart. Now look at the daily charts here. First of all, the crossover between the 20 and 50 period moving average. This is the support zone at 72, then 100 period moving average at 73 and then the long term resistance at 74. You can see why 74 levels are a greater resistance. You can see this multiple candles getting reversed from this level and this time it has given a breakout. And if you can see here, this is the second candle with a diminishing body size, diminishing bullishness. And on the upside, this is the top of the channel here in which oil is trading. Now, if you look at this channel, you can see oil is trading in this channel since long. This is a bearish channel, sideways channel, which makes 77 as the next resistance. And if it stays above 76 today, yes, it can because see it has formed a tail. If it breaks out on the upside, we can expect 76.4 and 77. Now, that will also be a diminishing body size and continuation of the bullish momentum. So this is one probability. Stock ISTIC here is definitely overbought. MACD divergent and bullish RSI near to top. Considering this, I will recommend you to buy at 76 and sell at 75.5 levels. Selling at 75.5 will negate the rise from yesterday which might take it till towards 75 and 74.8. Take your positions accordingly. Trade with a stop loss. Trade with the trailing. Now let's have a look at natural gas. And before we proceed, if you want to learn this art of trading, you should join my mentorship batch. 24th batch start going to start on first week of August. Register yourself now itself. Only limited intake is there and hence first come first serve basis. You should reserve your seats now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Now look at net gas today. 
you can see it is traded very much in zone 2.6 2.64 levels 2.6 and 2.58 it also very very good support below that 2.55 levels will be seen and hence a sell entry at 2.6 can be taken but then 2.58 and 2.55 are two major support levels stock i stick has dropped here macd is also trading at bottom macd rsi is also trading at bottom on the two hour charts likewise the uh, price is divergent from the 2.65 levels moving averages which is situated at 2.65 below that uh, right now the prices are too much divergent it can try to converge till towards those levels and yes above 2.65 you can buy however remember 2.67 2.7 are two major important resistance levels stock as tick has dropped macd is bearish rsi at bottom and on the 3 hour chart if you look at the 3 hour chart see resistance is seen here since then three red candles divergent and hence only buying entry i will recommend is above 2.65 or rather you can say 2.66 levels above which 2.68 2.7 2.72 till 2.72 it's just two cents trailing stop loss above 2.72 we can expect very strong bullish momentum which can take it for 2.75 2.8 levels on the downside remember 2.58 is a great support and then 2.55 levels to be seen there also if you look at it is trading in this bearish channel here a stock i stick is comfortable here macd is trading bearish rsi has dropped and on the now look at the 4 hour chart see drop there retracement again drop it is continuing with the bearish momentum here possibly 2.58 or 2.55 levels can get achieved today itself a stock i stick at bottom macd divergent and bearish this is the second wave here possibly it can stretch and then the rise can be expected rsi is also trading almost at bottom and on the day now look at the daily chart see three red candles three green candles red candle here higher lows are seen here so right now it is indecisive i'll wait if it breaks past 2.55 that is the point because see lower highs lower lows which means it can drop till towards 2.5 also and hence a sell entry can be taken at 2.6 levels but then 2.58 2.55 two major support levels below that we can expect it to hit 2.5 here stock i stick is retraced here macd is still bearish rsi has dropped here so uh, a buy entry at 2.65 or 66 can be taken rather but then 2.68 2.7 2.72 till here very very good resistance and if it breaks past by you can say that it is reversing and we can see a rise here so we have to wait for it to break past 2.72 but then you can buy at 2.66 however you have to trade strictly with the trailing stop loss till or stop loss at your entry price till 2.72 on the downside below 2.6 yes 2.58 first support and then 2.55 levels to be seen below that a sharper drop cannot be denied take your positions accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch join my signals channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email id are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you